What is good guys, back for game 2 between Insula and Ampo for ulti playoffs. So this time Insula is using Zardwai plus banned Titar. Titar can trap Lattice but it cannot trap Pax that well. So the Greninja also has a Z move to deal with the Pax. In this case it's Z Dig Greninja. I know the team Insula is using because he posted it in a chat I'm in. Then the Drill is a leftovers variant, um, Sand Rush. The Solve is Tangros and then the Mew is like Will-O-Wisp, Psychic. Um, softball and I think Earth Power, which uh, Earth Power makes a lot of sense on this team since like Heatran can be really annoying, especially if it has a move to hit Tita, like either Will O Wisp or Corkscrew Crash, can be really annoying for that. Um, Zad also can switch into um, Heatran, especially if Rocks are up, so it makes sense for the Mew to have Earth Power. And since he already has a Tangros to check Zygarde, he doesn't need Ice Beam on the Mew. So Ampo brings a Volcarona team, I assume it's gonna be Zemo Volcarona. Then uh, the Lopani is probably fake out plus quick attack because I don't see a Scarfa on his team. Uh, this is a good lead for um, Insult. Insult is free to click Psychic here. Ampo is either going to switch into his Pex or into his Volcarona here. He obviously doesn't want to go Glisco or Celestila. They both don't want to take a Wisp. And uh, Glisco also has to fear Ice Beam. Now we can just switch out into his Zard here which can take any hit from Volcarona quite easily. We already see no item on the Volcarona which, um, yeah, no leftovers on the Volcarona so it's most likely Z move. Now Ampo is forced to go into Pex. Uh, Insult can probably just get the Mega off. You can also double into Greninja here to start getting up spikes, because um, Greninja always forces out the packs, because Ampo, like it's pretty obvious the way the team is built, and Ampo probably knows that as well, that the Greninja might be the Zemo user. Um, I guess there's also a slight chance that Drill is the Zemo user if he doesn't know the team, but it's like quite obvious that the Greninja is either um, Z Shattered Psych or Z Dig to um, deal with the packs. But just getting off the Mega as a fine play gives you information on the packs. So, what is this pack set? Is my question. Knock off. We see no Black Sludge, so it could be Shed Shell packs to help with the trend matchup to pivot. Could also be Payapa Berry. Um, so he doubles in the Greninja there and participating the Glisco to come out, which is a good play. And he can just get up a spike because Empo is going to switch out fearing the Ice Beam. Now Empo should switch out again into Celestia um, to scout for the Greninja, having like Z dig. Though, um, I guess it was unlikely that Insult would go for it the first time. But yeah, Insult knows that he would probably scout in Ice Beams there. Now he scouts as Insult knows that he's going to scout in Ice Beams. And um, Insult doesn't want to stay in here because this Greninja doesn't have HP Fire, I'm pretty sure. I think it's Spikes. Uh, Z dig ice beam and I think the last move is low kick, but I don't remember exactly goes into Tangros which blocks uh, um, Would have blocked leech seed now uh, he earthquake there just in case Greninja went for HP fire because then earthquake would have been super effective Now insult probably might want to pull a double here um, Pax is like the obvious play for Empo so I Guess you could double back into Greninja or into Mew also, the packs might not have Toxic since it had knockoff. Like, it might be knockoff, Scald, Recover, Haze packs. Um, he still has to scout for that, but if Pax doesn't have Toxic, that would actually be amazing. So, that was in the Grand Predicting packs, and now he's pretty much forced to switch out back again. Um, we can either go Zard or Mew or Tang here. So, he goes Zard. We're most likely going to see a Heavy Slam exactly. And. Um, and so he could either roost here or he could just um, attack. He could also double back into Greninja, breaking the Pex to come out, but he just, just fire off a Solar Beam. Uh, Pex is pretty much forced to heal. Uh, this is fine for Insult because um, Pex only has 16 recover every time it uses. Like, he can stall out the recover in the long run. I assume he spiked there? Exactly. Breaking him to um, scout for the Z dig again. And now uh, he can switch out here. He might not want to go Tangros because the sun is up. So he's either going to go Mew or Zard Y. Um, Empo. Could potentially pull a double. Um, does he have a double? Not exactly sure. I didn't finish talking about Ampo's team. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Defog on the Gliscor to support the Volcarona. Rocks slack of Earthquake on the Powdown. And the last move is either going to be Whirlwind, Toxic, or Ice Fang on the Powdown. I'm not exactly sure just yet. Um, this reveals Earthquake, which actually means um, the Volcarona might not have HP ground. Earthquake on Celesteela is used, um, yeah, because you can like. Surprise kill Magnezone and Heatran. Uh, so maybe the Pex wasn't Shed Shell, maybe the Pex is a different item. I thought it was Shed Shell to pivot versus Heatran better. Because um, Glisco gets bopped by Z-Move, especially after Rock, so Shed Shell Pex can help with the Heatran matchup. But maybe it's not Shed Shell if the Celeste Dealer also has Earthquick to Lua and Heatran. So, um, Insult. If this Pex doesn't have Toxic, you can technically just stay in, but since the Sun just ran out, um, the switch is, like, makes the most sense. So Mew comes out. I don't think this Pex has Toxic the way it's been played. Now, Celis Dealer's play here, um, you could Wisp or you could double back into Zard. He's most likely just gonna Willow Wisp as the Celis Dealer is now burned, which is really great for Insult. Now, you can just go back into Zard here. Um, I assume this is just Leech Sheet Protect, Heavy Slam, Earthquake, Celestia. He doubles Glisco there. Um, he just goes for Psychic. 
Now, um, Ambo should pivot here to scout for this Mew having Ice Beam. I know the Mew doesn't have Ice Beam because I know Insult's team, but Ampo doesn't know that. He just went hard into Greninja in case Ampo stayed in and went for Defog with the Gliscor, because he didn't have Ice Beam on the Mew to touch the Gliscor. And the Greninja was also fine to come in on the Celesteela, because now that the Celesteela is burned, uh, Greninja can take Heavy Slams easier. So he just went for Leech Sheet, now he Heavy Slams. Um, Zacho just roost here to stay healthy, you check the Volcarona, and Empo's probably gonna go Pax. And if this Pax really doesn't have Toxic, technically Insult can also just stay in and spam attacks versus it, to try and burn it and to waste Recover PP. So Mew comes out, and um, I think he should just double into Zard, exactly. He should keep doubling into Zard a lot, because um, Ample now knows that the Mew most likely doesn't have Ice Beam, and if you double into Zard, you prevent the Gliscor from defogging for free. And yeah, just flamethrowing, and Pex has to use Recover a lot. The spikes pressure the Pex. Now he goes into Tita breathing a Recover. Um, bit risky here, because he can potentially get burned. Pex can obviously live anyone hit, and Ample can scout what Tita wants to lock into. I uh, assume he's gonna go for a Crunch, which also hits the hit pardon decently hard. So Ample's just gonna skull here. Does he get the burn as my question it does get the burn which is annoying for insult now um he can probably go gliscor here so insult should maybe double into the the zard again because he should just like always double into zard whenever he predicts gliscor or just in general um i mean pex is forced to recover this turn nah, never mind pex is forced to recover this turn i guess he can also go greninja this turn yeah you can also go Greninja this turn, but like staying in doesn't really get you anything because now you're burned and the next crunch doesn't kill and he's just gonna recover. Maybe a crit would kill, but that's like not the play to fish for a crit right there. But he was always gonna recover. I don't know why I said he could go Zard breaking the Glisco because Empo had to heal before he could make that play. But now he makes that play that I was talking about after the Pex was healthy. And now you always click Flamethrower here if you insult. It doesn't actually Oko the Glisco from full, I'm pretty sure. Um, but if he stays into defog, at least it will bring the Gliscor really low. And yeah, this Fex is forced to recover a lot. And uh, Insult can technically just stay in as he reveals Earthquake uh, is the last move instead of Focus Blast. Did he change that? I don't remember him having that. Man says shot at LL, okay. Maybe he changed it from Focus Blast to Earthquake. I mean, Earthquake is just... It doesn't do anything to Pax, as you guys can see. Flamethrower and Thor Beam does around the same, I'm pretty sure. Um, I guess it's just so that you don't have to risk missing Focus Blast versus like Heatran, maybe? Um, but he switches out, but I'm pretty sure this Pex doesn't have Toxic just the way it's been played, so technically he could have also stayed in with the Zard. Um, as long as the Sun was active, I guess he just wanted to activate the Sun. Now he doubles back into Zard, which catches the Gliscor every time, and always Flamethrower. If Pex comes out, it's pressured, it's forced to recover, eventually it's gonna run out of recover. And if Gliscor defogs at least, it will get Flamethrower and take a lot. So yeah, doubling into Zard always the play. Um, I said it earlier that he could have done it, but I said it like the wrong turn because the Pex obviously had to heal earlier with the banter after it took the crunch and got the burn. Uh, if he didn't get that burn, by the way, then I don't, it depends on his Apodon spread. If his Apodon might have been able to take two crunches. Um, or he, he could have also gone potentially into low punny afterwards because um, they resist crunch, but it would have still taken a lot after the spikes. Like, I'm just talking if he didn't get the burn earlier. But yeah, he keeps making that double because um, Empo now knows that the Mew doesn't have Ice Beam the way the Mew has been played. And I think he just went for Defog here. Like, he keeps making the double into Zard, anticipating the Gliscor to come out because he doesn't want to let the Gliscor Defog for free. And they double back into Greninja, anticipating the Pex. They're really hard play from Insult. And now it's... I was gonna say... Is he gonna spike again or is he gonna go for Z-Dick? Because he has he has played this pretty well. He didn't go for it early on in the game. And um, so he doubles into a there, anticipating the Tangrowth to come out because I think the Mew was at around 55-ish, which means Tangrowth was the only switch in. And I think he just stayed in with the Apollon. He stayed in and went for rocks. And the rocks are now up, which is annoying for Insult. Um, wait, does the Mew not have Divok? Is uh, Spin Drill is the only removal, I think. I'm actually not the biggest fan of that. I just realized that I don't like Zardwai without double removal. But yeah, now Pex is dead, so he pretty much has to pick a 4 He's either gonna have to sack Celesteela or Gliscor, just decide to sack off the Gliscor here. Now Lopani can come out and force out the Zard. Um, he's forced to go into Tangrowth here, pretty much. And, I mean, Empo can pull a double, but he doesn't have to. I think he's just gonna attack. Um, Tang is gonna take some hazards and some damage here. Uh, there's no way he stays in with Zard. But yeah, Empo has to be... Not Empo. Insul has to be careful around the Volk. Um... With Hazards on his side, the Volcarona is a big threat, so he goes for Focus Bath there. Uh, I assume he's gonna go Tita here, just to get the sand up. 
And uh, Ampo's just got Equivalence here, which is free. Uh, unless it's Rock Sled Tank. I'm actually gonna start running Rock Sled Tank again, because people always go Volk and Zard on it and think it's free. Now, Buck Bus should kill here. Um, even if this Volk is potentially not max special attack. The Tita has already been chipped. Buck Bus is super effective. Now, Drill can obviously force this out, because it's Sand Rush. Pretty much forced to Earthquake here. Um, he could Rapid Spin, though, predicting the Hippodon to come out. But even if he Rapid Spins here, Hippodon is just gonna get the Rocks back up, so I assume he's just gonna Earthquake. Yeah. Uh, even if you rapid spin spawn or however you say it, if you did that, then her problem would have just went for rocks the next turn anyway, so it doesn't make a huge difference. Um, so this is actually a bit rough for Insult now. He doesn't have his own rocks up. Wait, what is his, what is Insult's rocker? Is it rocks banter or did he? Is the last move on Mute rocks? Uh, I thought it was Earth Power, Psychic Wisp and Bruce. Or is it, does this drill have rocks? I'm actually not sure. I don't remember if it was Rocks on Banter or on Drill on Mew. I think it's not on Mew. I think Mew definitely off power. But yeah, um, Tangrus is the obvious play here. Um, does Empo... Empo just clicks Slack off here, I think. Uh, I guess Insult could potentially go for Rapid Spin. It's, yeah, does he live an Earthquake? Oh, after Helmet, he probably doesn't live. So he just slacks off now. He's just gonna get the rocks back up. Um, he goes hard into Zard before rocks go up, which is good for Insult, because the Zard destroys. And he's just gonna click Flamethrower, he sacks off the Celestealer. And he's forced into low Pani, and now... Um, I don't think he should go into Tangrowth now, in case Ample doubles into Volk, as he doubles into Volk and there's a the Tangrowth. And I think he could have maybe made a mid-ground, either the Exca or the Gren, maybe the Exca. Because, like, that would have been a sack, and I would have also covered Ampo doubling the Volk and not gave it free setup. Now he's just going to quiver, and now the Zard is obviously in range to die. I don't know if it dies to fire move normal, or if it has to be a Z, um, what is a Z bug bus, probably. It probably dies to fire move in the sun. Yeah, it does. It's flamethrower. It's not fire blast. Okay, so now this is pretty much over. Um, Ampo, um... I don't think Ambo necessarily had to make a double, he could have potentially gotten another setup opportunity later on. Yeah, I'm still thinking about this end game. Basically, um, like I said, Intel should have um, probably gone Excadrill there um, as he made the double into Volk, um, which at least would not have given the Volk setup. And I'm not 100% sure, like, Intel, not Intel, Ambo might have gotten another setup opportunity. Like, when he has Lopani in, Intel is like forced to go tank. And then, like, I think he could have still gone Volk later on, maybe, but I might just be wrong here, like, I'm not exactly sure about this endgame, but Empo caught the double, he made the correct play, so I'm not gonna criticize him for that, he got that double correct, so that's fine, and, but yeah, if Insul, instead of going hard into Tangros, sacked the drill there, um, like, it wasn't, it would not have been a sack in that case, because if you went drill, would have covered the double into Volk, and then Empo would have been forced to attack, which means he could not have set up with the Volk, and then Greninja would have still outsped the Volkrona, and the thing is, I'm not 100% sure what the last move on the Greninja is, because um, if it's low kick, it might actually not be able to kill the Volkrona. Um, I don't know, if, I guess Dick might be able to kill it without the Z move, if it's not Roost Volk, which it might be. So, I'm not 100% sure about the end game. if you guys know exactly how this would have played out. Um... Like, let me know if you think Empo had a different setup opportunity, or if, um, yeah, I think Imp Infant might have had it if he went Excadrill, but I'm honestly not sure about that, like, I'm, like, really unsure about the end game. but yeah, I'm happy we're gonna get a game 3, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you with game 3 in a bit, peace out, friends.